In this video, I will show you another example of diode load line analysis. This is the last example, example 3. Draw the diode load line and determine the operating point for the following circuit. Use the provided IV characteristics graph. See here, for the circuit, we have to draw the diode load line and we have to determine the coordinate of the operating point and we have to use this IV characteristics graph. See, this diode is connected at this terminal. Let's say this is our point A and this is our point B. When I was talking about diode load line, in that lecture I have told you that the diode load line is the graphical representation of KVL of a circuit which contains only a single voltage source, single resistance and a diode in a loop. But here, this circuit contains a single voltage source but four resistors. Therefore, at first, I have to reduce the entire network across this A and B terminal to a Thevenin equivalent network such that we can get a circuit like this in which the voltage across the A and B terminal will be equal to Thevenin voltage and the resistance across that A and B terminal will be equal to Thevenin resistance. So to calculate RTH with respect to this terminal and this terminal, at first I have to remove this P and junction from this A and B terminals. See I have removed the P and junction diode. So with respect to this A and B terminal, I will calculate Thevenin resistance. While calculating Thevenin resistance, I will replace this voltage source with a short circuit. So that circuit will look like this this is our a terminal and this is our b terminal with respect to this a and b terminal we are calculating rth see with this structure the circuit is looking complicated see this is our third terminal c as we have short path this will continue up to this point so this is our a point this is our b point and this is our c point okay now see if i denote this line as a terminal if I want to go from A to C, I will encounter this 100 ohm resistor. From A to C, I am encountering this 100 ohm resistor. Okay. So from this A to C, I will encounter this 250 ohm resistor. And and one end of this 100 ohm and one end of this 200 ohm resistor will be connected at C terminal let's say this is that c terminal now if i want to go from c to b i will encounter this 50 ohm resistor i am going from c to b i have this 50 ohm resistor in that path now if i go from c to b i will get this 250 ohm resistor from c to b so this will be the simplified circuit structure of this circuit. Now with respect to this A and B terminal, I am measuring our Thevenin resistance. RTH. Here you will see this resistance and this resistance will be in parallel and this resistance and this resistance will be in parallel. Their equivalent parallel resistances will be connected in series. Therefore our RTH will be equal to equivalent parallel resistance of 100 and 250 will be in series with the equivalent resistance of 50 and 250 ohm this will be equal to 71.43 ohm and this will be equal to 41.67 which will be equal to 113.1 ohm let's say i approximate this e nearly equal to 113 ohm for further clarification let's say i set the circuit in simulator see the ohm meter is showing a reading of 113 ohm so rth of the circuit will be 113 ohm now i will calculate thevenin voltage see 
as the p side of the diode was connected at this point and n side was connected at this point so i will consider this terminal as positive and this terminal as negative that means this terminal will be at higher potential and this terminal will be at lower potential and the voltage difference between this terminal and this terminal will be our thevenin voltage now i will calculate thevenin voltage let's say the voltage difference between this a terminal to ground terminal is v a and the voltage difference between this terminal to ground terminal is v b so thevenin voltage will be the voltage difference between these two points which will be v a minus v b now see this 12 volt will be applied between this point and this point in this branch this 100 ohm and this 250 ohm will be in series so i can use voltage divider rule to calculate v a v a will be equal to 250 divided by 100 plus 250 into 12 which will be equal to 8.57 volt now see in this branch this 250 and this 50 ohm resistances are connected in series so i can write v b equal to 50 divided by 50 plus 250 just just simple application of voltage divider rule equal to 2 volt so our vth will be 8.57 minus 2 equal to 6.57 volt see here i have set the circuit in the simulator the voltage difference between this terminal to this terminal is 8.5857 volt and the di voltage difference between this terminal to this terminal is 2 volt therefore see this side is positive and this side is negative the voltage difference between this terminal to this terminal is 6.57 which is our thevenin voltage vth so in this circuit thevenin voltage will be 6.57 volt see i have reduced the entire network to a single voltage source single resistance and a non linear element now i will apply kvl in this circuit to deduce our diode load line equation before applying kvl let me indicate the polarities see this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal so current will be flowing in this direction let's say that current is id as current is entering from this direction so this side will be positive and this side will be negative the positive terminal of the source is connected with the p side of the diode and the negative terminal is connected with the n side of the diode let's say the voltage drop across the diode is vd now if i apply kvl in this loop i will get plus 6.57 minus i into 113 minus vd equal to 0 so from here i can write id into 113 equal to minus vd plus 6.57 from which i can write id equal to minus v d divided by 113 plus 6.57 divided by 113 this is the load line equation of this circuit now if i want to find the x intersect i will set y coordinate zero that means id equal to zero so from equation 1 i can write zero equal to minus vd divided by 113 plus 6.57 divided by 113 from which i will get vd equal to 6.57 volt so our load line will intersect the x axis at point 6.570 this is the x intersecting this is the x axis intersecting point now i will find the y intersect to find the y intersect i will set x coordinate zero that means vd equal to Zero and V D will be equal to zero. From equation number one, I can write I D equal to 
6.57 divided by 113 which will be equal to 58.14 milli ampere so our load line will intersect the y axis at point 0 58.14 milli ampere coordinate so here our coordinates are 6.57 volt and 0 another coordinate is 0 58.14 milli ampere now let me locate these two points in the graph this is 6 this 6.5 therefore 6.57 will be let's say at this point this point has the coordinate of 6.570 this point will be 57.75 therefore I will get 58.14 here so this point will be 0 58.14 milli ampere this is our second point now I have the two points now if I join this point and this point I will get the diode load line so let's say this is our DC load line here you will see uh, this DC load line will intersect the IV curve at this point this point has a coordinate of 2 2.25 to around let's say 2.5 volt and here this will be a point around 37 milli ampere so this is the coordinate of our q point where this voltage indicates v dq and this current indicates i d q and this is our operating point or q point okay that's it thank you